project we have to deliver tomorrow. Is everything okay? What is the reason for this meeting? Maeve, I've asked you to meet with your manager and me today because you must be aware that for some time now we've not been happy with your performance in our company. Maeve, the reason why we have called this meeting is for both of us to discuss the quality of your work. As you know, we had several of these meetings recently to help you identify areas where you can improve your performance. Unfortunately, we have not seen this desired improvement. During the last month, we have seen a deficiency in your attitude towards your work. From the relationship and the poor professionality you build to our customers, to the quality of your tasks and the environment in the workplace. Yes, despite our ongoing feedback and performance coaching that I have provided you, I have not seen this improvement in your work. What exactly does this mean? We are really sorry, but we have to let you go. We've given you several opportunities to improve your performance and have provided you with multiple warnings and notices, both written and verbal. Despite these chances, you failed to make the adjustments that we requested. I just don't understand it. My manager gave me very positive feedback on the project that I completed last month. I, I, I don't understand it. Yes, that's true, but you are talking about a specific example for all of your tasks. As you know, every worker deals with several projects daily and it's their task to keep all of them working. Your work with that project was fine, but not enough to make compensation for your entire task. Maeve, I'm sorry, but the decision to end your employment is final. We won't be discussing any specifics about your record. This is so unfair. I don't get how you can fire me and not Vicky. He makes so many more mistakes than I do. And why does he still have a job? He's certainly screwed up a lot of more than, than I have. How come you not leave him up? It's normal to feel anger, is our top news. But this meeting isn't about other employees. It's about your performance, and we simply aren't satisfied with your work that you are submitting. The thing is that we've already found another candidate who we think could be a better fit for your position. Last month, I talked about moving into another position. Would that be possible? Could I get a transfer to a different position? Is there any other alternative, please? I... Maeve, we are really thankful for all the work and improvements you have made to this company these last years, but we think our company needs a change, and also we think that it will be good for you to explore other opportunities. I'm sorry, Maeve. Everyone here likes you as a person, but it's simply time to move on. You can be sure that we didn't come to this decision lightly. It's a difficult decision for all of us, but the decision has been made. Here is the regular termination letter. Please read and sign both copies. Can you give me the two more letter, please? Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, um, I, I signed this, but I want to let you know that I'm really disappointed by the decision you've made. I, I didn't expect this, and I will do it. We understand your frustration and confusion, Maeve. We're really sorry again. We truly wish you the best and good luck with your future endeavors. The payment for your group vacation and sick days will be included in your final paycheck, which you will receive as usual at the end of the month. We think that this is a good opportunity for you to move into other types of companies and refresh yourself. You have been working for us a lot of years and you could be stuck. Setting you free could help you to find another position that motivates you and makes you keep the best from your talent and your ambition. If we can help you somehow, do not hesitate to contact us. Good luck with your future and we truly do wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maeve. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so for our reflection, we'll first uh, analyze the character's role and then we'll analyze the termination process. So firstly, for the analysis of the HR and manager role, um, when Maeve is told she's being laid off, she acts neutrally. Um, so she's confused and questions the decision that the company has made. And the HR and that manager react by explaining clearly the decision and making sure she understands it. When she later on gets more upset and angry, blaming onto other employees, they react in a calm and peaceful way uh, without becoming defensive or reacting to her anger. 
and they do well in not giving in to discuss the other employees that um, she's mentioning and the, um, leaving it back to talking about her. When she asks about moving on to another job position, the HR and the direct, the director uh, thank her for her work um, and contributions to the company since she has spent many years in this company. Um, and we believe this is really important in a termination conversation to help the employee who of course is feeling down and upset and especially if it is about a poor performance like in this case. Um, also during the conversation we identified we identified a don't which is that the HR uh, manager the HR, sorry, and the manager um, said to the employee. So by saying that they wouldn't be discussing any specifics about her record and making the employee understand the reasons behind the termination is important. A lot of companies have this kind of reaction when firing employees in order to avoid further justifications. Moreover, uh, sometimes the reasons for the layoff are not completely clear or fair and that is why companies avoid this further explanation. Mm, in this case, the reason for the layoff was due to poor performance, which is a valid reason, but not wanting uh, to give to get into specifics about the decision was not a good decision since making the employee understand the specific reasons um, why his contract or her contract in this case is being terminated is crucial. Now, secondly, regarding the analysis of the employee role, um, at first, when Maeve heard she was being laid off, we could say she had a neutral reaction. She was confused and surprised by the decision the company had made to terminate her contract, as she unexpected. After a while, uh, her attitude moved from a neutral one to a rather negative one. She was feeling disappointed and annoyed. Mm -hmm. Also, she tried to take control um, of the situation by attempting um, to convince her manager to give her a new role in the company. It took her some time to come to terms with the decision, but she ended up accepting the decision and signed the termination letter um, unwillingly. And finally, for the analysis of the termination process, um, we can see that the termination process has been followed correctly according to the class notes. So a short meeting has been carried through uh, between the fired employee and the HR person and the manager following a previously developed script. Next, the employee was called to have a physical meeting um, with her manager and the HR person in order to announce the decision and give her information about why this decision is being made. And also, as the process establishes, the employee is asked to sign a resignation letter. Um, finally, the manager and the HR person try to show their empathy and support, and also give her motivation to look forward to her next step in her professional career.